This is Kenyon Drake for the Tide at the four. Good coverage, and the Badgers pin him back inside the 20. Drake in motion. They hand it off to Derrick Henry, and the big fella bangs straight ahead. Let's take a look at tonight's Chick-fil-A impact players when Alabama has the football. And Third and short. Tide are playing quick. Henry again. Very tough to stop him downhill. First down to the 32. Third down. They need eight. Play action. Baker. Cannot escape. They got a good pass rush, and that's the outside linebacker, Joe Schobert, on the sack. The Badger defense forces a punt from J.K. Scott, the brilliant sophomore kicker. In traffic, Alex Erickson decides not to make a fair catch and is hit immediately at the 35 by Minka Fitzpatrick, one of the true freshman corners. Right. Rory Clement is deep. They got a couple of fullbacks, and it's Clement. A little crease and a quick burst across the 40. Gary Ogunwale is the running back to the left of Stavi. Plenty of time, and he flips it short. And Logan Wally makes the catch and has a first down in Alabama territory. Jones is their best corner. He's also their punt returner. You might see him play a little offense tonight. He's been working at receiver in camp. Drew Meyer. Sit high with backspin. And a fair catch by Jones just inside the 10-yard line. They fake it to him. Poker on the move. Fires to a wide-open receiver, and it's Foster who's across the 30 for a first down. So they do trust the quarterback, and he delivers a dart. Again, they fake it to Henry in his first down throw. Coker across the middle, has a man wide open. Catch inside Wisconsin territory. That's Richard Mullaney, the senior from California. Great motions out, so an empty backfield. And the Bradgers bringing some pressure. Coker gets it away quickly. Foster has some room. Flips a tackle, dives near the marker at the 36. Doesn't mean you can stop him. Henry breaking free, heading to the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. Play action. Stavi delivers a strike across the middle. And it's one wheel right at the 33-yard line. So a nice, accurate throw and a slam. Clement got two on first down. And then Stave in the pocket, flips it short. Clement makes the catch and is forced out at the 40. It'll be third and two. And they convert on third and two. The line of scrimmage very crowded as Reggie Love comes in motion. And they're not going to get there. Clement is stacked up nothing as D.J. Petway and company they had a fourth down you run into the teeth of an alabama defense you better be really good up front on the offensive line Here's the punt and cyrus jones this time no fair catch at the 15. And knocked down quickly excellent coverage by wisconsin drake slashes free gets a first down this is Kenyon Drake, the senior who broke his leg against Ole Miss a year ago. But so they bring something different for defenses to be concerned about. Coker fakes it to him. Pressure. Escapes for now. But now will be brought down. A huge loss and a flag comes in. Did you see the player, Sheehy, how he came in? I don't know if they're going to the call it. After the play was over, personal foul, number 94, defense. 15-yard penalty. Well, I don't know. First down. Because it was just hit by Shane Leckler of the Texans in an exhibition game. If anybody in college can do it, it might be this kid. But instead, it's off the side of his foot. You keep it away from Erickson, and it gets a nice roll down inside the 25. I told you I thought that was kind of a, a big series there. And now back as head coach. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike by conduct, number 55 to the kicking team. 15-yard penalty enforced at the end of the play. That was number 55's worst on Sportsman Mike Powell. Again, I just said going into the, the break there that they're going to have to make some plays in that passing game to open up some running lanes. Alabama's attacking the line of scrimmage. Stavi again flips it short. Catch by Clement, who moves into Alabama territory. Bolts has to have a good game. The Badger coaching staff feels, and 
He's faced a lot of fresh bodies. Stavi fires short, battling near the marker, just inside the 40. Badgers are one of three, and they need three yards. Play clock at three. In the flat, catch made. Logan Wale is free and is inside the 30. Seven completions, six to running backs. Play action fake. Stavi wants to look back across the field, files into traffic, and makes a completion inside the 10 to trailer. Stavi, look left, right, fires middle. Touchdown, late signal. But Alex Erickson, the top receiver from a year ago, went down low to get it. Drake will bring it out. And he's knocked down just across the 10. Excellent coverage so far. Poker a first down throw in the flat as a flag comes down. Drake nowhere to run, and he's wrestled out by Shelton. Well, offsides on Wisconsin, mistiming that blitz. Offside, number 53, five yard penalty. Replay, first down. TJ Edwards, who was offsides, 53, and also Chris Orr, true freshman. They're very, very young in the interior. So far, holding up pretty well. Henry breaks free, muscles for a first down to the 25. I don't know if it was the Sonics or the Tasmanian Devil, but they handed straight ahead. And Henry muscles out to the 39. 75 yards already on nine carries. Coker, a first down throw. Lobs it on the sideline and a leaping pass. As a flag comes in. Our Darius Stewart went up for it. Push Passing Hillary through. beyond. The Number 13, offense. 15-yard penalty. Replay, first down. Second and 22. Hofer looks to throw a screen, lobs it up. Drake has it. Excellent blocking. Gets to the edge. Crosses the 40. Kenyon Drake breaking free inside the Wisconsin 40. A huge play in the screen game. There's Man, confusion right boy. now for, boy, for Wisconsin. Wisconsin's got about 15 guys out there. As Alabama snaps the poker complete across the middle. And yeah, there has to be flags because you can't have that many guys out there. They were trying to switch personnel. For I think that Leon Jacobs had an injury. Absolutely. It was just mop-up duty a year ago, basically. Here's a first down throw. Again, flips short. This is O.J. Howard, the first catch for the fine tight end. And he shows his after-the-catch skills. A first down near the 17. Jake has plenty of time. Fires short. Complete. Caught. Touchdown. Foster. Just 17 yards in their eight rushes. None longer than five yards. That was in the first play of the game. Stave flips it short. That's Derek Watt. His second catch out across the 20. It's going to be tough to run the football. You're going to have to try some kind of play action. And leap one of the backs, the two up backs, into the flat. Got the freshman deal. They hand it to him. Wow, they got Surprise, and the freshman muscles near the marker. Coming. Or, uh, Stave pressured and slammed down as they didn't pick up Jonathan Allen who came flying in. Stave looping throw into traffic. Nice catch made. Erickson, who caught the touchdown earlier, collects a very different kind of throw here. Gonna pin the tie deep and get the halftime down just seven. Meyer knocks it high. And the first catch made at the 11 yard line by Drake. So far tonight, Badgers have run 28 plays. Bama's run 30. NFL style. <laughs> right. Slow ball. Uh -oh. Not a good kick. Uh oh, you know, he's as good as he was last year, he's not had a great camp. Stavi takes a shot. Downfield. Leaping catch by Erickson at the 15. They'll spend their last time out with three seconds to go. And perhaps steal three points before halftime after the shank. Rafael Gagliannone from Brazil from 34. Off the upright. And the Badgers squander a chance 
to go to halftime with some momentum and only a four point deficit. This guy was very reliable a year ago. You want to upset Alabama every opportunity that you have. You've got to be able to cash it in. Badgers four of seven on third down so far as the tides show pressure. Lake pocket three. Savi hurries it. Loops the throw incomplete. And a flag does come in along that Wisconsin sideline. They were looking for it. Savi on second and eight. Feels the pressure again and goes down. Tide converging there. Jaron Reed, third and 16. Screen. Ogan Walla hit for a loss as Ruben Foster was all over him. A serious explosiveness by the junior from Auburn to get the ball carry. A very low punt may have been deflected, bouncing around, and the Badgers avoided disaster. And down it at the 43. Henry. A burst up the middle. Derrick Henry. His second touchdown tonight. The movement when they get you to third down has a bigger impact than just the not just the play itself. Use the punt. Taken. And Cyrus Jones, a nice return, and the tide is going to start in Wisconsin territory. It's Drake coming in motion. Coker fakes it to him and now fires, and another catch along the sidelines. A flag comes out as Mullaney collected it near the 30. Mixing in the power running game with this passing attack. Coker again, working downfield. Not a runner, but has plenty of room and takes off and dives for a first down at the 21. First time he's won the football tonight. There's the speed for the big guy, but he also willing to get involved in pass protection, really just becoming a complete back, which is what they need. Numerous flags before the snap. Ball star, number 94, offense. Five-yard penalty, second down. Henry is that kind of guy. He wants to be involved in everything. I don't think he minds contact, however it happens. On no, it's not so much contact. It's the mindset of knowing who's who's blitzing. That time, Alabama moved the left tackle, Cam Robinson. So, back-to-back -back false starts. Drake, the third down run. A flag comes in again in the holding zone as Shelton brings down the ball carrier. Holding, number 71, offense, 10-yard penalty, it's third down. And now they motion Drake. Coker flips it short to Henry, and has some blocking. And he'll be knocked down way short of the marker. Lived in an orphanage and then adopted by Michelle and Tom Griffith in Alabama. From 44. Yeah, Adam hooked that one and was very... Reliable for most of last season, so disappointment there. Watching him play even in camp, I, I went to one of their scrimmages, and he was probably the guy that stood out the most to me. He had some funky punts and some missed kicks tonight. Meyer gets a pretty good punt, and there's excellent coverage as Cyrus Jones is spun down at the 33. That's a little pop pass, and this is Drake. Breaks a tackle. Gets the edge, and you can see the explosive skills of Kenyon Drake. He's going to be marked out at the 47. First and 20. It's Drake in the pistol. Poker over the middle. Howard, the tight end, running free and diving for a first down at the Badger 40. And Howard picks up the first. Now the tie showing some tempo. Coker again throws it short. Stewart, another first down quickly. They recover from the holding penalty and move it to the 25. They've had to try to pick up the slack, but right now they're going after the safeties and backers. Drake makes a cut, gets the edge, and dives down near the 12, and the Tide can smell blood. Another first down. Henry breaks a tackle. Powers down inside the five. It'll be first and goal. 
And they're running quickly. And the pistol on first and goal. Henry again looking for the hat trick and he gets it. Bama up by three scores. As the Badgers now face serious urgency. 5.08 in the third quarter and Stavi's going to look downfield. Loops the ball for Watt but he was well covered too well covered as a flag comes in. Second down throw short again Watt makes the catch breaks the tackle two yards short of the marker. It'll be third and two. We need two here. Hogan Bawale is the bat. We fake it to him some confusion nearly a collision now he collects the short pass. And Ogan Bwali inside the 40 nearly knocked he, he was quarterback. We thought we'd see him used as a weapon tonight. Stave fires across the middle. Catch made. It's a first down inside the 25-yard line as they get it to trailer the tight end. And kind of establish some confidence. But I, I, I personally go for it. And it's a 43-yarder. And Gagnone just slides it through. So with a minute five to go in the third quarter, the Badgers do get three. And he's going to get a chance. Well, he's going to pull it down. And then you can see the element that he brings in the game. He's got a little burst as a runner. He needs to come in and also perform well to be able to stay in this race and not let Coker run away with it. Exactly. These are very important snaps. This time they give it to Drake. Bateman comes from Cottonwood High School, which is the alma mater of Gary Anderson. Andrew show pressure up the middle in the zone read look. They flip it very short, and Howard, the tight end with a stiff arm and a short gain. Schobert shoved him out. It'll be third down. <laughs> and Bateman on third down again fires. Nice catch by Calvin Ridley, the talented freshman receiver, first down in Wisconsin territory. Ridley, one of the top receiver prospects in the country. Oh, Bateman fires far side. A flag comes in as Stewart is knocked down. Another flag comes in late. Tonight, that defense has not been on the field much. And Bateman throws complete. Ridley knocked out of bounds. Tide fans hoping they see Bateman to Ridley a lot in the years to come. Late clock is it two as they get it down. Oh, they missed the first one left. This one is just wide right. Alabama sending a, a pretty good message to a team that many people will get, think will get to Indy. Stave hit and hammered. Pressure from the freshman quarter. Minka Fitzpatrick and then the big fellas cleaned it up. Should have a huge year for him. Myers punt. He's taken in plus territory. And Cyrus Jones trying to create some space and get wide. Good and quite break the tackle there on the edge, but sets Alabama up at the 42. Now a very late comes late flag flying in. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, number 14 of the kicking team. 15-yard penalty. First down Alabama. Timeout. They fake it to Harris. And now flip it to him. But the throw is behind him. He had to turn around and then kind of disrupted everything. Down, no fumble. Harris tackled at the 31. Harris. The flag comes in as he's knocked down at the 30. You know, I, I th honestly, I think th that's an example of why Coker probably got the edge. Bateman is making good plays so far. you got to believe that Coker has certainly established himself. Yeah. yeah. Drake spins free. Kenyon Drake has room. It's a block on the edge and tight ropes for a touchdown. Erickson comes in motion. They hand it to him. Can he get the edge? Yeah. Erickson showing the speed finally muscled out near midfield. Heather? He will never stop coaching. Deal. Work in the middle. Inside of seven minutes to go. They need three on third down, and Stavi flips it short. Catch made, and that's Hogan Buales getting free for a first down. To answer your question about if you're Paul Chris and you're a first year head coach.
Stave files far side, and the catch is made. That's Jazz Peavy, a sophomore, making his first catch of the night. Stave for the end zone. Heavy traffic as Wheelwright was covered in a flag now. And was Minka Fitzpatrick with him. And it'll be interference. Those are the cameras they put in NASCAR cars. They can take a collision. So first and goal, Stave across the middle, caught for a touchdown. See, that's what you that's what you that's what you figure out if you're Paul Chris. You're not, you're not gonna come back and win this game, but you like to see your team keep fighting, keep playing. It was 19 of 22. Chris Black will bring it out for now, just take a knee for the tide and gets bumped into at the seven-yard line. You can see him right there next to us, but we certainly hope that isn't a serious injury. He's gonna get back on the field after they check him out. Because that will be a, a key for this Wisconsin defense. Harris powering near the marker. They're going to spot it right about the 17 where he needed to get. And flip it short. And catch is made by Ty Forney Smith, the tight end, and a nice game. So they're making these very comfortable throws for Bateman. As teammates and coaches, when you go through some tough times and, and you don't give up. We don't have preseason football in college football. Scott with the punt. And then Erickson fighting hard to get to the corner. So Stavi, with a minute 11 to go, finds Erickson again. That's been a good combination. They used the backs exclusively early and then got Erickson involved. Instead of just killing the clock, let's, let's work. Let's try to get a little bit better. They fire downfield and heavy traffic. Here's the first turnover of the night. And Eddie Jackson is off and running. Knocked down at the 20 and a flag comes in very late. Another one. Playing man to After the interception, illegal block in the back. Number 21 of the intercepting team. 10-yard penalty if you spot the foul. First down, Alabama. And they said this was a solid guy. Really avoided bad plays which is not easy against Alabama's top defense in practice Harris shows a burst and gets down near the 25 that'll do it so Alabama busts open a close game at halftime and overpowers Wisconsin with the running game Corey Clement really limited only had 16 yards rushing and left the game with an injury which we hope isn't serious that would be a big concern and Alabama answers some questions at quarterback and gets a big game from Derrick Henry.